What's going on SAB? With the whole lockdown situation going on, we want to find out what activities you guys are doing in all this free time. If I have like homework and stuff like that, I would work on that and either I'll just go to my friend's house. That's about it. Because of COVID, I haven't been able to hang out with my friends, but I have been able to read Daughter of the Burning City and One of Us is Lying and I enjoyed them both. Interesting topics, guys. This whole lockdown event has been crazy. It's great to see people are enjoying their time and staying safe. Thanks for watching. Hey SIB, I'm Claire McHenry and I want to know what your favorite NHL hockey team is and what teams you will predict will make it to the finals. Let's go around and ask some people. I don't really have a favorite hockey team. It's usually whatever team my kids are on and they're football and soccer. But um, seeing as we're doing a hockey interview, I guess my favorite team would be... Toronto Maple Leafs, Claire! Yeah. Do you think they'll make it to the finals? I hope so, Claire, because I want to see you jumping around. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Rezio, what is your favorite hockey team? My favorite hockey team is the Detroit Red Wings. And what team do you think will make it to the finals? Well, this year, Detroit Red Wings, they're fighting for the first overall pick for next year. They're struggling. Um, and we're going to come back hard because we've got Eiserman now. And uh, the future is bright. My favorite hockey team is the Montreal Canadiens. I think the Montreal Canadiens will make it to the Stanley Cup Finals this year. And I hope that upsets a lot of the fellow staff members that follow the Toronto Maple Leafs. Okay. My favorite hockey team is by far the Toronto Maple Leafs. Yes. It has always been the Toronto Maple Leafs. I bleed blue and white. Mm -hmm. What team do you predict will make it to the finals? Hmm. Both teams in the finals? Um, Just the one. One. Well, of course, I got to go with the Toronto Maple Leafs because they're first in the league right now and they seem to be beating everybody. So I'm going to go with them for sure. As far as their opponent in the final, that's a tough one. I'm thinking, I don't know, could Boston be there? Is that? I don't even know if that's a possibility right now. Okay. But Maybe. We, we want them. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Hey Sab, as we move into more online-based lives, it's important to keep internet security at mind. As we see more and more students locked at home with nothing to do, we see a rise in people playing video games, parents as well. With that said, when playing online, it's always important to protect your passwords. As said by many video game companies in the past, don't give anyone your passwords. A 2019 HYPR study showed 73% of people use the same password for multiple accounts. Knowing this, people can obtain access to important accounts like your online banking account or your Instagram account or your email. Unfortunately, 48% of workers use the same password in both their personal and work accounts. Compromised passwords are responsible for 81% of hacking-related breaches. The average person reuses each password 14 times. A common technique used by hackers is called phishing, which involves sending a malicious email which gets the recipient to enter their personal information. With this information, hopefully everyone can be a little bit more secure. Hey Sav, I'm Harche, and today I'll be reviewing a game that blew up called Call of Duty Warzone. Call of Duty Warzone is a free-to-play battle royale video game released on March 10, 2020. And the best part is that the game is cross-platform, which means it doesn't matter what console you're playing on, whether it's Xbox, PlayStation, or PC. You and all your friends can play together. Warzone is a battle royale game that blends the survival, exploration, and scavenging elements of a survival game with a last man standing gameplay. Join forces with your friends and jump into a battleground with up to 150 players. Loot for rewards, discover supply boxes, and complete contracts to build your arsenal and gain a tactical advantage to be the last man standing. 
This game blew up and currently has more than 80 million players worldwide who downloaded the game and played it. Personally, this is one of my favorite games to play with my friends and have fun whenever I'm bored. I just hop on my PS5 and play this game. Lastly, this is the animation the game rewards you with when you earn a Warzone victory. Hopefully after watching my video, you decide to give Warzone a chance since it's a great and enjoyable game. Over the years, the market and popularity of electric vehicles have been growing, with Tesla leading the car, electric car industry to possibility that gas cars are going to be replaced in the near future. I'm going to be asking around what people's opinions are on electric vehicles and what they think the thoughts of the future are. Uh, my opinion on electric cars is... I don't know, I'm kind of a more like old fashioned type of person when it comes to cars, like with the combustion engines. So I'm more of a fan of like the Supra, like the old JDM cars, like uh, stuff like the R34 Skyline, stuff like that. Um, I think that it's definitely gonna be, in the future, it's gonna be more rare to see gas vehicles and combustion engines. But I don't think it's as near as people think it is because in certain areas, like in Canada, it's very cold and the batteries have a long way to go. But in areas like down in California, it's much more uh, reliable. So, yeah. We've had some different opinions here today. Though it may not be in the near future, Electric cars will most likely replace gas cars. Whether it's in the next 10 years or in the next 100 years, all depends on us. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, Sab. As we inch closer to summer, the winter sports are ending. So today I'm going to recap some highlights for you. Starting with football, the Buccaneers beat the Chiefs in the Super Bowl with a final score of 31-9 to in favor of the Bucks. In the hockey world, Toronto is at the top of their division for once and is looking good, but they're currently on a two-losing streak and just recently choked a 5-1 to one lead against Ottawa, losing 6-5 to five in overtime. In the realm of mixed martial arts, Conor McGregor recently came back after a year layoff to face Dustin Poirier, which ended in a devastating loss for Conor. And in one of the most recent events, welterweight champ Kamaru Usman earned a phenomenal victory over top contender Gilbert Burns. And that is all for this month's sports recap. Hi, I'm here to bring you BNN's Lockdown Movie Mania, where we go over student favorites, blockbusters coming out, and movies you haven't heard of. To begin, we are going to go over some student favorites of recent years. I really enjoyed Greenland. I enjoyed The King of Staten Island. I like Spider-Man Far From Home. Hello everybody, welcome back. Coming in March, there are three big blockbuster movies. Starting on the March 5th, there's Chaos Walking starring Tom Holland and Daisy Ridley. There's also Maya and the Last Dragon, the new Disney movie. And on the last of March, the 31st, there will be Godzilla vs. King Kong. This is an exciting CGI fight film uh, filled with giant kaiju monsters. To cap off this BNN segment, I'm going to tell you about a movie you can watch while stuck in lockdown. It is called The Fantastic Mr. Fox, found on Disney+. Plus. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Hey old dogs, with no sports going on, I want to know what you guys think about the upcoming World Cup in 2022 and what you think about the players that will be participating. 
So uh, I think Spain is going to win the World Cup because uh, they have a good chance. They have won it before. And uh, yeah, I think they have some strong players. So I think they, they have a, a chance of winning the World Cup. Tony Cruz and the Germans are going to win the World Cup. Uh, so I still think Portugal is going to win the World Cup. Uh, we got the best player in the world, Cristiano Ronaldo, and he's got a fantastic cast around him. Well, those are some powerful teams right there for the World Cup. Personally, I think James Rodriguez is going to lead Colombia to victory. Thanks for watching this segment of BNN. Stay safe, Bulldogs. With the two new strains of COVID in our area, there is a chance we may have another lockdown. The original COVID gene that came from China has not been shown to transmit through food as stomach acid destroys it, but it is transmitted from respiratory droplets by people breathing, coughing, and talking. The B117 gene that came from the UK has been confirmed in London and surrounding areas. It is thought to have a higher risk of death and might be 50% more contagious. This variant held 60% of COVID cases during December in the UK. There is another variant in Middlesex, but tests have not confirmed which variant or if it is a new mutation in the gene. These variations of COVID-19 are spread the same ways as the previous virus. It is very helpful not to touch your mouth, the inside of your mask, or your eyes during and after being in spaces with other people until hand sanitizer is used. Keep your families and everyone safe by doing your part, and hopefully we can all go back to normal activities soon. Hey Sab, I'm Vanessa, and today we're going to ask a couple of grade 12s the sport they missed in their last year of high school. Um, I ran track and did hurdles, relay, and 800. I played basketball and track and field. Um, I miss competing with high school track, especially going to OFSA too. I miss doing that. I felt sad that I couldn't complete my last year with sports. I hoped that we were able to come back and play, but unfortunately we weren't. So overall, I was just pretty upset about that. Yes, at um, club, so London Run Resistance Club. I would like to play sports in the future, and if I were to play, I would probably continue that in college. Um, competing with other people from other schools, like my other friends. Um, I miss the team, being able to play with my friends, and I just miss being on the court and like being on the track. Hopefully the grade 12 athletes will get to play their first year of college or university. Thank you for listening. What's up, Sap? Today I'm gonna be asking around students if they could be anywhere in the world right now with this corona situation, where would they be and why? If I could be anywhere in the world right now, I'd be in Niagara Falls because we go there every year for a family trip and we missed it this year and we like to go to the Hershey store to buy all like the treats and stuff, but we didn't get to do this this year so we didn't have all our supplies like we would. Um, if I could be anywhere in the world, I'd probably be in Austria visiting my family. Okay, if I had any place to go, it would be Bora Bora. For the simple reason, because it's beautiful. And just the scenery of it is going to be relaxing and just to get away from people and live a different life. If I could be anywhere in the world right now, uh, I think I would choose Italy uh, because it's early in the uh, season. I've been over in March a couple times. It's nice and warm, but not too warm. The main thing is the little towns are empty. Lots of cafes, lots of interesting spots. You get to see the ocean. Uh, love, love Italy, the end.